Hello ladies, um, on this tutorial with the bow at all, I'm going to show you how to make a bow and put a trinket on the inside. I have my bow at all propped up uh, so that you can see uh, the creation of the bow a lot easier due to the way my camera is positioned. Of course, you wouldn't have to prop your bow at all up to make a bow, but for the instance of this video tutorial, um, I'm having to. So I want to make sure that you see everything. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're go I'm using just some sheer uh, white ribbon, um, and we're going to put this ribbon uh, touching the back touching the back with a pole, the posts. And I have this locked in at three inches, so I'm making a three inch bow in this instance. And uh, so of course you can make any size bow you want. So, all right, we're gonna put a ribbon against the two bars on the back and we're gonna start doing figure eights. We're gonna go one, two, three, Four. I'm making several loops because I want a really loopy bow. And always end with your, always end the ribbon with the um, left peg, okay? So the next step we do is we're going to take this ribbon here, the one we're holding in our right hand, and we're going to bring it over to the back, okay? Now remember, you're going to cross over and bring the left one over to the front like this. But since I'm going to be adding a trinket to this, I'm just going to use the clip that I have and I'm going to clip it to the post, the right one. Okay, and then the left one here, the one that goes over the front like this, I'm going to add a trinket two because that is what's going to be that is my front one so I'm adding one of these um, buckle trinkets like so and I'm just going to feed the ribbon right through if I can get the ribbon to go through I'm going to use my scissors to push it through there Okay, uh, <clears throat> there we go, and now I'm going to feed it right down on the other one, like this, there we go, alright, now put that in the back again, alright, so remember, we're back where we are. We're going to take our right one. We're going to put it to the back, and we're going to cross. And now we have our trinket on the front, like this. We're going to bring the left one underneath. And then here is when you're going to pull and make sure that you have it straightened up where you want it. like this okay you're going to switch hands oops sorry we're going to switch hands pull like that and then you're just going to put it through the loop there and pull taut Make sure you have that lock and seed back here, like that, the lock and seed, Oop. and then it slips right off. And then you have your beautiful tails, like this. You have the beautiful trinket in the center, and then you can put a touch of hot glue and add a beautiful pearl.
and there you go. Isn't that stunning? Gorgeous. Love it. Okay, we're going to do another one. And again, I have this propped up on paper towels. Um, you will not have to do this. Um, but I'm doing this so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to do another one. Um, and I'm going to look in my scrap bag of ribbon here. Um, that's what's fun. We can use all of our scraps up uh, playing with this board and making beautiful bows. And let's see. I'm going to use this purple ribbon that I have. Okay, this is a purple sheer ribbon. Okay. All right, we're going to start in the back like we did. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm only going to do six on this one. Okay. All right. Remember, we're going to end on the left peg. We're going to bring this our cut ribbon to the back. Remember, we're going to cross like this and bring our left one over. But for this instant, I'm adding a trinket. So I'm just going to add a clip there to hold that one until I get this trinket in there. And I am using a, um, this is a, like a, this is a camichon, a cameo, and um, it has a little loop in there. So I'm going to use this one. Okay. Now remember, we're going to cross over. See, we're going to cross over, bring our left one over and under. Now, this is where you're going to straighten this up. You're going to pull it taut. Like that. We're going to switch hands in the back. And you're going to tie it like you do your shoes to get that lock and see. And we're going to straighten it up. Like so. We're going to pull it off. Straighten up your bows. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Look, that's how you add trinkets. See? Stunning. Okay, we're gonna make another one because I'm I'm we're gonna make another one. <laughs> um, let's see, what can we use? What do I have? I love making these with the bow at all. It's just it opens up so many possibilities um, for you and. Uh, Another, uh, you know, you can add earrings and jewelry and charms and all sorts of just different, um, just different uh, bows. And just think, you can do bows for your children's hair. You can do all sorts of stuff. Okay. All right. We're going to add to this one. Let's see, what do I have that we can add? Hmm. 
Okay, this is for demonstration purposes only. We're going to add like a little clock. Uh, we get we see a lot of these little trinkets everywhere. So it would be cute to see if we can add a little clock. Okay, I'm using a very thin piece of ribbon. This is probably about a, an eighth of an inch wide. Again, you're going to do a couple of loops. You don't have to do as many loops as I'm doing. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Again, we're going to end on the left hand side. We're going to bring the right over. And remember, we're going to cross and bring the left over to the front. Now, I'm going to clip this uh, ribbon here. Oops. My clip got hung. All right. I'm just clipping the right one so that I can add my little trinket here and this one might be a little difficult to thread on but maybe not I'm just going to push it through with the scissor It's one thing you got to think about when you're using your trinkets. The size of your ribbon versus the size of the trinket. So you can do a test run. Okay, so there we go. All right. All right, remember we started at, we ended at the left peg. We're going to bring it over and we're going to bring this one under as you can see here all right now and we're going to tie it Oh, there goes my grandfather's clock. And there you go. You know, you want to play with it. Play with different trinkets. Play with different uh, ribbons and everything. But that is, base, that is how you put trinkets on using the bow it all. See? Awesome. So, get your bow at all. Play with this. And if you want one from me, I offer it at $32 shift. Um, just let me know and I'll order you one. That is $11 off of the retail price. And um, I will get it to you. A lot of you have ordered for the next shipment of bow at alls because y'all want to make beautiful ones so um again i want to thank stacy nichols and i want to thank zutter for bringing out an awesome product and i cannot wait to start just using up all my scraps and making beautiful bows so until next bow it all tutorial ladies and happy holidays bye-bye